Hello there, full sized here with another video on Space Engineers. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a small planetary mining ship. I, I see a lot of discussion on the forums, people talking about how much they hate planets because it's so hard to mine, and people uh, I play multiplayer with sometimes. I've even heard people, I heard a guy today tell me that he quit planets five minutes after he landed because he couldn't figure out how to get anywhere. Well, I kind of think he gave it more than five minutes, but the point is, it's not that hard to get ore on planets. If you've done the Easy Start Earth, you see that they give you a mining ship. If you can call it a mining ship, personally, I think it's kind of pathetic. It only has three drills on it. And in order to get down underground 20, 30, 50, 100 meters to get some of these ores, uh, you need more than three drills. Sorry, that's just the way it is. So, I built this ship here. It's got 22 drills on it which is the fewest number that I felt like I could get away with because you've got to have kind of a fat ship to be able to do this and you want the drills to be able to dig a big enough hole so that the ship can follow through behind it. Um, I also had to have two reactors to run the whole thing because there's a lot of large engines on here. Now this ship can fly horizontally which it is right now. It can also point straight up in the air. I'll try to get my camera angle good straight up in the air and it can also point straight down like so it's pretty maneuverable it cannot fly completely upside down okay so don't try to fly it upside down it'll just crash it also can't fly on either side it can tilt quite a ways either to either side, but it can't fly completely on its side, especially if you start filling it full of ore. If you notice the mass over on the right, it's got 134k on it right now. You can easily mine until it's 500k, which is a lot of ore. And I've even taken it up to 700, but it gets it starts getting sluggish after about 500, and at 700, it's really sluggish. So, yeah, I can hold more, but I would just keep it around 500 and then take it back to base, drop off your ore, and come back out and do some more mining if that's what you want to do. Um, other features are it has a projector on it. So if you happen to break something off, like drills, small drills are really fragile. You probably all know that. Uh, if you happen to break something off, a drill or an engine or something like that, it's really easy to replace it because you have that projection going already. There's also about, I don't know, 50, 70, something like that ejectors here on the bottom and they are connected to two sorter blocks and what the sorter blocks do is they sort out all of the ice and stone and you can turn that off if you want to if you need to collect ice and stone but for the most part if you drill any ice or stone and collect it it's going to automatically get sorted out and kicked out these ejectors that way you don't have to deal with it because you don't want to mine 500k of ore get back to base and only have 50k of iron or whatever it is you were after and the rest of it's all stone and ice that now you have to figure out what to do with it so as you'll see here in a moment when I start drilling it's gonna automatically get rid of that junk for us back in my cockpit view here now uh, there's an LCD here which is pretty cool because it's gonna update automatically as we start drilling to show us how much of each type of ore we're collecting and if you notice down on my shortcut menu, I've got the drills to toggle on and off in number one. Number two is so that I can, it's from the tools and uh, weapons category, so I can right click drill to destroy rock. And then three is my ejectors, which I can turn on and off. And I'm going to turn them off right now. So I can collect a little bit of rock and kind of show you how, how well these things do, even if you're trying to get rid of a ton of rock. Not a ton, but tons of rock. Number four is an override thruster control, or not override, but a toggle off thruster for that large black engine right there in the middle because it's pointing forward and when you're facing down like this you don't need that engine slamming you into the ground okay so you want to turn that off when you get ready to drill uh, five and six are for overrides but they kind of broke those in the last patch so I'm not going to demonstrate those right now but I will leave them on the ship because if they ever fix it then those are kind of handy when you're drilling that way you don't have to sit there spamming the W button you can just set a gentle override to keep pushing you into the rock Alright, so now, to get started drilling, and you don't have to do this all perfectly straight and whatnot, you could just start drilling at any angle you wanted to nearly, but I like to be facing pretty much straight down as best I can, because if your hole is straight up and down, it's going to be easier to fly in and out of it later. 
But now I'm pointed straight down. There's some cobalt and some iron underneath me. I'm going to right click drill to destroy rock. And I just entered the menu real quick to toggle that on because it kind of makes the right click stay so that you don't actually have to hold the right click. That's annoying. I don't know why there's not a toggle for destroying rock, but whatever. That's a workaround. If you didn't know it, now you do. So I'm going to drill down through this cobalt and iron vein. And as you can see, it's tearing out a pretty big hole with the uh, destruction mode on the drills. And this is all vanilla, too. I mean, there's no mods going here. This is all basic, basic stuff. And as I said before, you do want to be careful doing this because you've got all the way to the ship behind those drills right now. And if you do uh, drive forward too hard and smash those drills into the rock, you'll probably break off a few drills. You, you, you're unlikely to destroy the whole ship, but you'll probably break a few drills off because small drills are just way too fragile. So I'm going to drill through the vein a little bit. Yes, I'm destroying some of the precious ore, but there's a lot of ore down here. These ore veins are really thin, but they're really wide. So it doesn't hurt to drill through a small section of it and destroy a little bit of it. Alright, so now I'm going to turn off the drill mode that's destroying the rock and just turn the ship back horizontal. trying to keep this in a third person perspective. It might be easier to drive from the cockpit view, but at this view you can kind of see what's going on better. So now I'm level with the vein and I'm just going to start drilling into it with my toggle drill on mode. And you can see the indicator on the LCD showing us how much we're collecting. And obviously we're collecting more stone than we are cobalt and that's fine for right now. I'm going to go ahead and collect a little bit just to show you how fast those ejectors can work for us. Just try to keep yourself going level with the planet. Sometimes you hit some rock weird or something, it kicks your angle off, so just try to keep it about level. Because the ore veins generally stay level with the planet anyway. We got 50k cobalts already, that's pretty good. If, if you were playing survival on times 10 everything, that'd be right now about 6 backpack loads. Going down the hole, chiseling out the hand drill and coming back. So. This is a pretty decent ship, and the best part is, you can build this ship with parts from an atmospheric lander and have plenty of parts left over. You might have to make a couple of trips to get some more iron or something, depending on how much of your ship you want to tear apart, but, you know, even the LCDs, you can pull LCDs out of the atmospheric lander, you can pull um, all the parts for the engines off of the two large uh, thrusters on the side of the atmospheric lander, so however you start in the game you're pretty much going to have all the parts you need to build this nearly right off the bat with very minimal mining with a hand drill I don't know about you but I don't like mining with a hand drill alright so we're up to 83k of uh, cobalt which is pretty good I generally try to get 100k of different ores when I go out and we've got almost 175k of stone And you can see the tunnel we're boring in there. And we could just keep driving straight off across the earth like that if we wanted to. But I want to demonstrate these ejector ports. So I'm going to turn the ejectors on. And you see they are just spitting out ridiculous amounts of rock there. If you look at the uh, the indicator, we're at 120k, 114, 
108. They're dumping about 7k of rock every second. That's pretty good. And we've been mining there for about, what, a minute, a minute and a half. And they've been dumping ore for maybe 20, 30 seconds now. And it's all almost gone. The stone is. But see, it's leaving our cobalt alone. Because again, the sorter blocks are determining that it's only going to dump stone and ice. Now I'm going to start mining again, and we'll see if those ejector ports can keep up with the stone and just keep it basically plumb empty for us. And I'm mining just as fast as I was before, but those ejectors are going non-stop, and they're constantly kicking that stone out, so that all we're left with is the cobalt that we actually wanted. Alright, so there's my target of 100k. Go ahead and back out of this hole and get up to the surface. Be careful backing up. You've got a lot of thrust on this thing. You don't want to smack into the wall behind you. Watch that horizon indicator, it'll help you a lot. It hurts to have a bird's eye view. And once you get lined up, you can just zip out of the hole because you got plenty of room. So even half full of ore, you can see it's a pretty maneuverable ship. Very easy to fly around, go back to your base, dump your stuff off, come back out and mine some more. So that's pretty much it. That's the ship. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put a link for the workshop download in the description of the video. So you can find that there. And uh, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.